Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another round of sound. This is the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown. Bob Pompiani here. We have a lot to get into tonight, including the search for a new offensive coordinator at Pitt. But the number one topic on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown will be the Steelers, who suddenly are in a position to be the best wild card, maybe even have their sights on a division championship. Who knew? Here to talk about it is your panel tonight. We have Joe Starkey from 93.7 The Fan, The Post Gazette. Feeling very Christmassy with his little sweater on like that in the middle. It's Andrew Filipponi <laughs> from 93.7 The Fan. And FanDuel, I'll give you a prop there on that one as well. And Will Graves, Associated Press. So Matt Canada's offense averaged 16.6 points per game. Pony today, 16 points per game. That's below the Matt Canada average. Yet there was a lot different about this offense. It felt a lot better. Your observations of I feel so much better than I did last week sitting mm. here with you, Bob. Uh, they got how, how about getting 400 yards was that not just perfect that, <laughs> that was just a coincidence <laughs> without him that happened uh, but only but only 16 no, points know, that's no, still a problem no three and outs a lot of drives that ended in Bengals territory that fizzled out sometimes on their own because the yeah. head coach wanted to punt on fourth <laughs> and short um it's like Mike Sullivan and, and uh, Eddie Faulkner took all of the outside external suggestions and <laughs> listened Right? I mean, the very first play of the first game. First play. Friar moved Boom. over the middle. So I thought Kenny looked probably the best he's looked all year, even though his stats might not back it up. So I feel a lot better, Joe. I thought it was the best game of Kenny's career. I think just to look at the point total today would be very myopic, Bob. Do you like that word? Not that I'm accusing you of that. I do like that word. But is it a coincidence that it happened without Canada? No. I don't think they, so. They're either. most points since Antonio Brown, or the most yards since Antonio Brown's last game here. About that. They controlled the game. I heard Hokey on the on the post game with you. He wanted saying, Mason Rudolph in? No, not today. <laughs> he said that they that was the most the offense controlled the game since Pickett has been here, really. And I agree with that. Plus, he would have had another. T he ha basically had another touchdown if Tomlin had challenged that play. To, so, to me, they really produced the kind of offense. They should have been right around 23, 24 points, 421 yards. But most importantly, Pickett looked like an unburdened man. Mm -hmm. He was the, the most confident I've degree. seen him right. his, in a while. His post game was, uh, I would say, he was almost effusive of Mike Sullivan. I will. But he's not even the offensive I coordinator. Will, it, he is not the offensive coordinator. It sure but sounded like he was he's after the, the game. He's the voice in Kenny's ear. And he talked specifically a lot yeah. today about how it was different, how the flow was different, how Sully was calling the game differently. I will say a couple things. Look, the Bengals came in with the 30th ranked defense in the league. Let's not pretend that this is the kind of defense that they need to beat Correct. the Chiefs. Um, the flip side of that, though, I will say, and Tomlin said this post game, we weren't going to let them sit in too high all game. The, talk about the first play to Friermuth. That, to me, sounded like, we got we have, the mandate has been said we are going to do this now. I think before Canada's problem, I mean, was just that he was always coached scared, always called play scared. The mandate I thought from on high that sounded to me. I don't know what you guys thought it was that just don't Matt don't lose the game. The defense will Who, win. Is it. that coming from Matt Canada? Or is that coming, coming from, from Mike Tomlin. Tomlin? It's coming from Tomlin. Yeah, I think so. Which is why maybe he doubled down on keeping Canada around because that was the thing. I mean, Kenny Pickett, to his credit, has not thrown an interception in 208 passes. I mean, that's important when you see some of these teams that are very sloppy around the NFL, Joe. They're making all sorts of turnovers. That's, that is important, but is it as important as keeping your quarterback kind of in the same place? In other words, he's regressing, not progressing, and I think they, they obviously saw that was a problem. Think of it this way with Pickett. If that pass counts to Deontay, which, again, it should have, and then he does what he did the rest of the game, he has the highest passer rating of his career. He looked sharp. He looked confident. The ball had some zip. He looked like the guy that I thought he would be in the more risk season. taker. And this little bit more, little bit more. Although he didn't take huge risk, he just went to where people were open. Shots down the field. This game was not like their other one-score ugly games. It wasn't. You know why? I never felt lucky. You know why? Because it produced hope. Right. This game, you look and you have hope. The other ones, you just look and say, "What? Well, you know, what was that?" This yeah. one, you can build on. And when they won, Andrew, it felt like they felt like they were lucky to win. The, the game against Baltimore, all the drops, you kind of come away thinking that's lucky to win. No luck about this one. They were the dominant team today, and they should have won the game, and they did. Yeah, they had everything. I mean, I, it's funny to say that after they scored only 16 points, uh, to me, that's the scoring drive they had after the interception was the play of the, well, the possession of the game, honestly, because at that point, you're trailing. You're thinking to yourself, we severely outplayed this team, and we're losing. I mean, come on. So they, and on that drive, you saw them put it all together. Not just Friermuth, but the running backs got it done. Najee 
had a pretty big game today. They really did. I mean, it was it, the rest of the season. Look, we can talk about the playoffs. It's about is Kenny finding out if Kenny Pickett's the guy. That's that's what the move about Canada was about. This it removes all excuses. He's one for, for one. Number eight. He's, Kenny's one for one in that. Uh, right, yeah, but I think like this is what the, this is not just about this year. It's about 2024 and 2025, and you wanted to you needed something positive. Don't urinate to on the fire, Will. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to be something positive, and, and look, I mean, you know, Matt, it was a miserable experience. I was there on Thursday with Eddie Faulkner when he when he met with us, and I mean, it was like. It was like night and day. It was like Richie and Pomp. It was like Richie and, you know, I'm, I'm kid, Rich, we're kidding. <laughs> but I mean, like just the, the demeanor, the tone, right. the upbeatness. I mean, he's cracking jokes. That's what yeah. I sense I mean, more than anything. It's, it's, a looser it's like team. It, it, it a seems looser quarterback. A better, they seem yeah, like they're in a better place. Right. Let me ask you about uh, that touchdown to Johnson, which was not called a touchdown. If yeah. it had been, they could have reviewed it and decided it was because it was incomplete. You cannot look at that unless you challenge it. Should he have challenged it? And the question is, if he was blocked on the sidelines, which Mike said he was, I get it. Don't you have someone oh, upstairs who knows the rules? That's what I don't understand. Do, do, and and I could be very somebody. wrong about this, but I don't hear the other Mike Sullivan, the hockey coach, saying, you know what, I was just blocked from seeing the scoreboard replay. There's somebody up there, is there not, who's supposed to And even though you didn't see it on the field, and say this happened. if someone's in the booth, they would have seen the replays before it ever came to that. The they way that they play games with these low-scoring games, how can you not challenge that? Just based on the eye test. I, I think he's a control freak. I don't think he wants to put it on somebody else. I think he wants to make the decision that way. If it's wrong, he lives with it and accepts it better. Whereas if he leaves it to somebody else and they screw up, now he feels but like. But isn't the other person I, I, have I, a monitor like I this? I agree with that. He's I, looking at the scoreboard. You have to I, make split second decisions. I agree with that. I also think he was covering for himself because I think he still believes that they, you need to survive the ground. I honestly I mean, look, think look, that. Look, look, who knows what a catch is on a week-to-week -week basis? Do you, you disagree think, with that? I honestly you think don't have to survive. I honestly no, think he no, still feels I think like that's he knows the rule. The, rule. the fumble I, came I, out, or the, he lost the ball before he ever hit the ground. So right. even so, it but, then which becomes to me down makes to three it be, feet. I, like, I thought it was an incompletion in real time. Like it wasn't so until I. Gene basically it wasn't until Sterator came in and said, "Well, actually." Are you convinced they overturned it on review? Because I'm not. Yes. I thought it was a touchdown real time. I'm not convinced. I'm sure they would have. Sure. Sure. He yeah. took three clear steps. You don't have to finish the catch. And if you don't have to survive the ground, then it was a touchdown. But anyway, we move on. Uh, we're going to talk into a, a lot of other stuff here, including Deontay Johnson. Not just that play, but what happened the very next play. We're going to get into that. We're going to talk about the defense, which was terrific today against the run again. If they can keep doing that, that bodes well for them in the future. We'll talk about all this and more as we continue right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown.